Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. We have been uh, discussing olefin polymerization over the last few lectures. In particular, uh, we have been focusing about various topics, uh, various aspects of propylene polymerization or polypropylenes. In this regard, uh, we have uh, uh, noted that in the previous lecture that uh, ziegler natta catalyst can also uh, polymerize uh, uh, propylene. Uh, and uh, one of the uh, main questions that remain about ziegler natta uh, remained at that time about ziegler natta polymerizing uh, propylene, catalyst polymerizing propylene is the fact that uh, the polymers obtained were isotactic in nature and the polymers uh, uh, were uh, uh, connected in a, a head to tail uh, linkages. Let me illustrate this uh, as follows. So, what is uh, uh, important to note uh, uh, is that propylenes were polymerized with aluminum chloride or Ziegler Natta catalyst. to give isotactic polypropylene which is a, a stereoregular uh, polymer. Uh, uh, so, polypropylene or IPP. And the second thing uh, which uh, at that time was difficult to understand is this uh, head, head to tail linkages. Is a prop, uh, propylene uh, uh, units. Uh, so, uh, these uh, can be illustrated. This is one unit, this is another unit. So, uh, these are uh, head to tail uh, linkages of this uh, propylene uh, 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 unit. So, uh, these are the two aspects uh, uh, that uh, uh, needed uh, uh, explanation in trying to understand Ziegler Natta polymerization of uh, catalyst. And the explanation uh, came uh, uh, in the way of uh, two things that these TiCl3 crystals are uh, supported by MgCl2. So, the, TIC, uh, the, the, the active catalyst actually is chiral uh, in nature where it has a, a sigma uh, vac a hole or sigma vacant site adjacent to a transition metal uh, polymer bond. Uh, uh, so, this can be explained as such. So, titanium chloride is supported on a magnesium chloride crystal where where uh, there are two, uh, two uh, sites, one is the polymer chain uh, which is bound to titanium, the other is a vacant site and to this, uh, 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 so overall uh, uh, what is uh, uh, to note is uh, that overall the titanium site is chiral.
a site uh, that allows that allows for an anti facial discrimination discrimination of propylene to give isotactic polypropylene. Uh, so, uh, this uh, is the first explanation uh, which uh, provides uh, 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 explanation to the observation that uh, polypropylene is isotactic in nature and this is illustrated by uh, the approach of olefin which can be either this with the methyl group on this side or it can be this with uh, so these are the two uh, possibilities of which uh, one possibility is favored, this one is favored and this approach is not favored uh, uh, resulting in uh, room for enantiofacial discrimination of propylene to give uh, isotactic uh, polypropylene. Now, uh, the other thing uh, which uh, we had uh, discussed that leads to the formation of head to tail linkages is the fact that there is a, a sigma hole, there is a vacant site present uh, sigma uh, at RCs to the polymer uh, 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 platinum carbon bond. So, uh, there is a presence of a free coordination site cis to titanium carbon bond and this uh, is what allows uh, uh, for um, uh, this uh, uh, head to tail uh, orientation. So, uh, head to tail linkages uh, is dictated by that. Now, uh, one thing uh, about uh, uh, ziegler natta polymerization is that the polymerization happens on uh, TiCl4 supported over MgCl2 crystals and hence this is ziegler natta polymerization one attribute it this is the multi site multi site catalyst. Uh, that means uh, that there are many active catalytic centers which are present which carry out polymerization. As a result of this uh, presence of multi site catalyst uh, the polymer so obtained, uh, the polymer uh, uh, so obtained uh, uh, become broad, broad uh, uh, molar mass distribution or high in short high PDI polydispersity index. Uh, so, that means uh, that uh, the polymer uh, has a wide range of uh, molecular weight distribution that is what it means in short. Now, uh, to have uh, more well behaved uh, poly polymers of uniform property uh, then uh, the need became uh, for developing a single site catalyst for obtaining narrower PDI polydispersity index single site catalyst were developed. Uh, 
uh, uh, for obtaining uh, a narrow distribution, a single, single site catalyst uh, uh, were uh, developed. And uh, that uh, led to another uh, set of uh, uh, discoveries uh, uh, geared towards uh, developing single site uh, uh, olefin polymerization catalyst. So, in this uh, context, not a catalyst. In this context, uh, 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 the Nata system uh, uh, of bisitanium uh, dichloride uh, 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 is what provided the, uh, the first initiation uh, towards uh, this end. The catalyst was titanium with Al2 Et2 AlCl. So, this was provided by Nata in 1957 and uh, this is the first single site homogeneous catalyst. Uh, for ethylene polymerization uh, the activity and uh, now uh, this catalyst uh, had low activity for ethylene polymerization and could not match up to the heterogeneous TI4 uh, uh, TiCl4 uh, dithyl aluminum chloride uh, catalyst uh, which is the ziegler natta original system. So, it has low activity and second thing is that uh, this also could not polymerize alpha olefins. Uh, so, uh, this, uh, the, uh, this thing uh, was uh, 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 like no match up for the ziegler natta heterogeneous TiCl4 diethyl aluminum uh, chloride catalyst, uh, but nonetheless uh, uh, there are two advantage uh, uh, to this uh, system uh, which are uh, to be noted here. The first is the first is that uh, uh, this is a single site catalyst, this is the advantage number 1 uh, and the advantage number 2 is that uh, this uh, is also a homogeneous system. So, that means that the polymer uh, were uh, of low PDI uh, and much uh, well behaved. So, these are the two advantages uh, of this system despite the fact that it had its own problem like uh, uh, the activity was very low and could not polymerize alpha olefins. These are sort of uh, uh, the drawback uh, for this uh, uh, system. Now, um, uh, then uh, uh, another uh, following Nutter's observation, uh, there was uh, 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 another uh, noted contribution was made by Kaminsky in 1980. in uh, 
uh, who uh, who rep reported high activity reported high activity uh, with uh, MAO uh, or uh, methyl alumino alum alu, 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 oxane. Uh, so, uh, no, at that time uh, MAO oh, oh, the structure of MAO was not known and this uh, 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 MAO was obtained by partial hydrolysis of non-uniform and structurally it was not uniform, non-uniform structure of MAO arises from partial hydrolysis of uh, triethyl aluminum uh, so at that time uh, uh, this is uh, uh, what led to enhancement of reactivity a, a, a for homogeneous catalysis which is originally uh, reported by uh, NATA. Now uh, following uh, 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 this uh, uh, discovery or MAO applications can be You can be very much gauged uh, from the fact that the corresponding uh, zirconium dimethyl catalyst produced five hundred kilogram of polyethylene per a mole of uh, zirconium per hour of catalysis. So, this is a, a tremendously a highly active uh, catalyst uh, uh, with MAO the zirconium dimethyl uh, thus became a highly active uh, uh, catalyst that could produce 500 kilograms uh, of polyethylene per mole of zirconium per hour uh, that is a huge uh, activity. And, uh, 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 and this was uh, uh, even uh, it tremendously exceeded the results obtained uh, under Ziegler Nutter conditions, conventional conditions. Uh, in, uh, in contrast, uh, this conventional exists under uh, Ziegler uh, Nutter conditions. So, here now we have a uh, which is a heterogeneous. Uh, system. So, here we have a homogeneous system catalysis which could beat uh, 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 the heterogeneous uh, 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 system. So, this this zirconium MAO dimethyl uh, uh, could uh, 
beat uh, these uh, Zig, uh, conventional Ziegler Nata conditions under uh, um, homogeneous uh, uh, system. Uh, now, this catalyst was also moderately active for alpha olefins and uh, um, the product was atactic. The catalyst Uh, also moderately active for alpha olefins and produced atactic uh, uh, polymer. Um, and this, uh, uh, oh, uh, this was not surprising given the fact that uh, this is a achiral uh, 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 molecule. Now, uh, the next uh, uh, important uh, discovery was made by uh, uh, Britzinger uh, as well as Even, uh, who produced uh, 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 isotactic polymer uh, 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 using uh, uh, like chiral resolution, one at low temperature and other using a chiral. Uh, derivative. So, uh, this that was the first development towards using homogeneous catalysis to produce uh, isotactic polymer uh, as was obtained with, using heterogeneous ziegler nata system. So, isotactic polypropylene was obtained by first uh, even in 19 84 in presence of diphenyl titanium mio catalyst at minus 30 degrees centigrade. So, the low temperature was given. Uh, uh, so that uh, 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 more ordered formation uh, could be formed and the second by Brinzinger Brinz in 1985 using chiral answer zirconosine derivative. So, this is given as polypropylene in toluene 60 degree centigrade and the catalyst is This is a answer catalyst zirconium. is chloride and uh, this gave 
polypropylene isotactic polypropylene propylene with the catalyst is to MAO uh, 1 1 is to 300 ratio and MAO is given as AL methyl M. So, uh, uh, with this uh, uh, we come to conclusion of uh, today's talk uh, uh, where we saw that uh, uh, the development of uh, uh, chiral homogeneous uh, uh, metallocene uh, catalyst that could give isotactic polypropylene under homogeneous condition in presence of this chiral catalyst and MAO. Uh, in large excess of MAO about 1 is to uh, 300 uh, a ratio and could uh, uh, be used to make this uh, uh, isotactic polypropylene. Isotactic polypropylene could also uh, over could be obtained using this uh, catalyst uh, 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 under very uh, low temperature as reported by uh, Evan. So, with this we come to the end of uh, today's uh, discussion on uh, uh, the development of catalyst uh, uh, for producing polypropylene. What we had seen that uh, mm, we, which, uh, which started off from a simple basic question as to why uh, the heterogeneous Ziegler natta titanium tetrachloride diethyl aluminum chloride uh, was uh, producing uh, uh, atactic, uh, isotactic polyethylene uh, that led uh, to uh, uh, the understanding of which led to the understanding that it is a, a multi-site uh, catalyst uh, and that a result uh, the polymer obtained were broad and less well behaved which led to the uh, uh, fo uh, focus on a uh, single site catalyst and the first single site catalyst for ethylene though of low activity was reported by Giulio Natta in 1957 using titanium dichloride and uh, um, uh, diethyl aluminum chloride which could polymerize ethylene but could not uh, polymerize any alpha olefin. Subsequent uh, contribution by Kaminsky which uh, who came up with uh, this uh, aluminum oxygen reagent uh, by uh, this is a non-uniform structure obtained by partial uh, hydrolysis of diethyl uh, aluminum uh, led to uh, high activity uh, reported for ethylene polymerization uh, using zirconium BCP zirconium dimethyl uh, which could even surpass uh, the results obtained from homogeneous heterogeneous uh, ziegler natta conditions and they could also polymerize alpha olefin. Now, subsequent to that uh, further development uh, as reported by Ewen uh, for propylene polymerization at minus 30 degree centigrade or the famous Bridgesinger's 1985 chiral and sazarconosine catalyst uh, uh, which in um, conjunction with MAO in 1 is to 300 ratio could give uh, uh, isotactic polypropylene similar to that with obtained with ziegler natta uh, system. Uh, so, uh, these uh, uh, catalyst is extremely active and uh, could produce about uh, uh, 43,000 uh, uh, kilogram of polypropylene uh, per mole of zirconosine uh, 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 per hour uh, 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 per hour and uh, as a result about 50,000 Dalton uh, polymer uh, could uh, be grown in uh, 3.8 seconds. So, this is a tremendously uh, active uh, uh, catalyst uh, uh, which was uh, producing uh, so huge uh, uh, amount of uh, polypropylene uh, uh, under uh, 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 such conditions. So, with this uh, 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 
uh, we come to an end on today's uh, uh, discussion where we have seen how the uh, evolution of uh, single site catalyst from multi site catalyst uh, took place uh, during uh, poly, uh, propylene polymerization, how the focus shifted and how uh, eventually uh, uh, the homogeneous catalyst could uh, make a more well behaved narrow distributed polymer. Uh, with much uh, uh, more activity higher than that of the heterogeneous conditions uh, using uh, uh, suitable uh, uh, modifications on the uh, 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 metallocene uh, system. So, more on the catalyst development, uh, this uh, uh, will highlight some of the interesting uh, uh, struggles that have been taken up by organometallic chemists in coming up uh, with uh, ideas uh, that could uh, lead to further uh, enhancement of this uh, polypropylene uh, catalysis uh, attributes uh, which will be discussed in the subsequent class. So, more of this interesting stuff ahead as we go on discussing about uh, the catalyst uh, de development uh, in um, uh, polypropylene uh, polymerization. Uh, uh, um, chemistry. So, with this I once again thank you for being with me in this lecture and I look forward to have some more interesting discuss, uh, discussion on uh, propylene polymerization when we meet next. Till then goodbye and thank you.